Hey guys, I'm here with Katherine Miller from the Maryland Rodman Performing Arts Center here in Foxborough Center. A lot of you will see it as the pink building on the common, uh, formerly known as the Orpheum. Uh, Catherine, thanks for having me today. No, thanks for having me. It's great to have, um, have you in the building and welcoming you to the Cultural Center of Foxborough. It sure is, and it's up and coming too. I love the fact that we have so much more revitalization here in town. Uh, but today I want to talk more about what kind of things does the Maryland Raman Performing Arts Center offer for our community? Absolutely, thanks. Um, so this place has been here for nearly 100 years. We're about 97 years old. And um, we offer performing arts opportunities to our youth in our community through various um, activities and events and shows and programs. And it's a place really that we feel community can come and be together and unplug and enjoy the performing arts. And um, we have everything from headlining acts that come from across the country. We have Vegas impersonators who come, cover bands, comedians that are world-class who've been on the Today Show and The View and Last Comic Standing to children's programming. We have a lot of community groups that come in and they, the YMCA will come in and put their performances on here. Um, Laura Canfield's group, the LRC Stage Productions have their performances here throughout the year. And um, it's really just a wonderful place to be as a community and enjoy the arts. Now, how can someone get involved with it within the Orpheum, within Maryland, Maryland Rodman yeah. Performing Arts Center? I know, Orpheum's so much easier to say, and that's what you'll see on our building outside. It says um, the Orpheum, and it's, it's one of the original, built um, in 1927. But we are the Maryland Rodman Performing Arts Center, and there are so many ways that you can be involved. You can obviously first be a patron, be a ticket buyer, come bring your kids, your grandkids, your families to experience live art. Um, or you can get involved by volunteering. We have a concession stand that sells popcorn, candy, beer, wine, soda, soft drinks. So you can come and help, help us be a part of making an experience for people when they come. Uh, we have a board of directors, an association of uh, directors that are involved in helping us maintain this wonderful cultural institution. So there's always opportunities to be involved in committees that way. Um, but really just just coming and being a part of our family is just so wonderful. And I'm always available to be contacted for questions or learn more about us or get involved. We have sponsorship opportunities for any local businesses who, who want to support um, a great cause. That's awesome. And I know personally that you guys have the marquee outside uh, where you can wish people happy birthdays on. Uh, and I know for when my grandmother passed away this past summer, mm -hmm. you guys did a two day marquee of in loving memory and that was just an amazing experience and everyone that drove around the common got to see it and it hit so many hearts and it gave so many tears to mm -hmm. myself and our family and we're just very fortunate and very appreciative of what you guys did for us. Well, I'm glad that we can have that impact and touch people, you know, any way we can in the sense of community. That marquee um, came to us, we, we bought it right before the pandemic and then the pandemic hit and we were closed and we didn't know how we could really help in this effort to keep the community spirits lifted. I think that now we forget how um, isolating it was and how alone we all felt. Uh, and in that time, we were able to use the sign to offer inspirational messages, uh, to wish happy birthdays to people or kids who couldn't have parties right, or to right. just honor any, anyone in this community who made a difference. So that is a fundraising effort that we still have ongoing for a donation of at least $50. You can have any um, message to an extent, we can't do solicitations, but any well wishes to an extent up on that board for 24 hours. And, um, and it's really helped us and anyone who's given to that campaign, we thank wholeheartedly because during the pandemic, we raised over $30,000, which kept our building in operation. We still have a mortgage on the building. We still have to keep the uh, this old building heated and maintained. So the community helped us stay afloat and now we're here to hopefully provide entertainment. Well, thank you so much for all that you do for our community. Mm -hmm. We'll have more information on screen about how to get involved and where to find what events are upcoming. Uh, you want to give a quick plug about some of the upcoming events? Yes, absolutely. So we have our wonderful brochure that you can get here at the theater. We have wonderful headlining acts coming, comedians, 
I mentioned earlier, um, one of the biggest shows that we have is a variety show, a Vegas variety show, the Edwards Twins. They impersonate 30 different um, celebrities and they are unbelievable. There's two people doing that. Um, as well as Mairead Nesbitt. She's coming this weekend. She's one of our original um, Celtic women. She tours the globe. She's unbelievable. She dances while she plays the violin. She's uh, a spectacular headlining act. So don't miss some of these great shows and support the kids in the community and, and, um, and keep culture alive. Awesome. Well, thank you so much thanks once so again. Much. And thank you. We'll uh, have a great day. You too. Thanks.